Uh, greetings. <laughs> What's pop? Hello. Hi. Hello. It's not that I walked in on happy feet. Well, it was worse about 15 seconds ago. <laughs> consider yourself lucky. Would you like me yeah. to explain, <laughs> sir? Explain no. No, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Welcome everybody to episode 14 of ba Bound. Not the bounded. Bound and broken. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Boom, 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 bam. Okay, so lots of stuff happened last time. Who wants to do the recap? I'll take it. Go ahead. So we traveled on to a journey. We came across a uh, debacle in the forest. Just a lot of noise, a lot of fighting, and whenever he came to assist, we found that there was a knight in armor who had already taken care of any, everything. Not allied to the church, but allied against demons, it seems. So, we offered to take him on to the nearest inn, and uh, did so. Whenever we got there, he scared the shit out of every single uh, church member who was there, to our absolute delight. On the way there, we met a uh, traveling salesman who sold us some things for some coin. We were able to get that, and then as we got to the turn in the road, we came across a um, magical vent of some kind. Despite warnings from other party members not to directly interact, two of our party, Balrock and Simon Silva, decided to, to ignore those warnings and stick a weapon deep into the vent. And that's where my vision cuts off, because I got turned to fucking stone, so... I believe wherever left out though, it was all black, cursed, and screaming, and fucking horrifying. Not very moist. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Pink got a familiar as well. The glorious process. He's blessed with, us, blessed us with his presence, or some people might regard that as a curse, but that's a matter of opinion. Curse. A blessing or a curse, <laughs> it matters not, for it only is moisture. Alrighty. Well, let's get things go ahead and start it off. Um, you've entered the Cursed Forest. You have had some people turn to stone. Let's see, hold on. <clears throat> There we go. Alrighty, so. Elsie and Simon have been turned to stone. What are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, if I remember correctly, I was with Simon closer away, like more away from, from the actual vent at the cart when that happened. And the rest was still assisting those. Yeah. Uh, in the aftermath of the blast, first thing Fane does seeing LC is runs over and starts to look over the petrification condition. Um, sort of panicked and disheveled, just trying to figure out the... Uh, I suppose, intensity of what's occurring. Um, Silva is freaking out and will immediately run to the cart to find his kids. Oh, right. Silva. Now no, we'll inspect Simon. Silva, on the way to towards the cart from this event, uh, you notice that in the forest line, Balrock disappears into the trees. The great spindly arms of the forest wrap around him and he disappears. Up ahead, as you run towards the cart and pull back its door uh, inside you see that there are two statues of your children
as to everybody inspecting those that are petrified, make for me arcana checks if you have it trained, or medicine checks if you have it trained. Uh, nope. Medicine. Does the uh, magic mutation for detect magic uh, augment this at all? Uh, no, not really. All right. I mean, it's That'll obviously work. a magic effect. <laughs> well, with Ooh. that check, this is what I can tell you. Uh, Elsie and Simon are being afflicted by a calcification effect, specifically. The petrification is not instantaneous, and it's not complete. Their organs, most likely, have not been petrified, just their outer form. However, it is only a matter of time before they are fully petrified, so you will have to get them some sort of medical attention in order to stave off this state. I will tell you this. If you are unable to get them proper medical attention in time, the characters will be considered lost because nobody here has the ability, effects, or access to the spell that can cure them of petrification. Oh. I was piggybacking off of that. Petrification as an effect has already taken hold. There's no way of me like funnel like funneling the magic or the curse that's affected them into the laywell or any similar. Oh, you, can certainly, you can certainly try to do all that stuff, but that would come with great risk. So, you could certainly try doing that stuff, yes. But the petrification is taken uh, to their to their outside, to their skin and, and things like that. But it hasn't reached mm -hmm. their, their organs, and they still breathe, even if difficultly. Even with difficulty. Uh, do I know how much time they have? Uh, with that medicine check, you know that their time is measured in a few days, at best. Fuck, 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 fuck. Arcadum? Yeah. With my... background, would I have an idea of what I can do with a priest kit? Are you trained in arcana or medicine? I am not. You have no idea. As far as you know, they're already statues. You don't know what Fane knows. I'm gonna grit my teeth and yell for Fane. And I can't actually yell at the moment. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, pain will. I'm gonna also walk over. Uh, sort of presumably, like they kind of come over towards the same point. Uh, Fane's running over. He uh, will turn to Matsuki and just go, They have a few days at most. Where's Simon? Uh, over there. With me. Thank God it didn't hit you. Uh, what did you all do? It, I... How was it so bad? Reckless. We need, to, we need to leave here. I'll just keep going. Um, where's Jojo? Before you look in the cart, because oh. you know what you're going to find. The forest swallowed up Balrock. What? He left? No. The forest, the, the arms, the, I don't know what I saw. But it looked like tree branches grabbed him and took him. He's gone. Oh, we should leave as well. But I don't I can't do anything for people like that. And I'm going to now look at Fane. And I'm going to get not uncomfortably close, but I'm going to look at him. I've broken our promise. I'm going to look into the card. Why? Statues. Uh, the what, horses what? are petrified too, right? Sorry. What else is petrified? Uh, the horses. Our food? Anything of the, like, pieces that were in the card? Our equipment? Our food? Food's fine. Oh. Why? JJ. Why? <laughs> Looks like somebody couldn't care for their children after all. 
There was one thing that I asked of you, JJ. One. I didn't care about your faith. I didn't care about your creed. I didn't care about... Whatever led you to being on that cross, I told you, do not mess with the children. Frosis will place his hand upon Fane's thigh. And Frosis will speak. Remember, now is not the time for rash action. You must keep to the middle path. The children are not yet lost, as are your companions. The time you spend arguing in anger is less time you could have healing them. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the capacity to heal them, Frosus. And we Are don't you have so the methods. sure about that? Can you heal them, Frog? <laughs> Frosus will kind of point his long, spindly frog finger into Fane's chest and say, As long as you draw breath, as long as you are moist, there is always a chance. And looks back at oh. Silva and looks past him to the cart. There's only one thing that we can possibly do for them right now. One. That's trying to funnel the curse off of them. The curse you placed on your children, JJ. Uh. That was ball rot. Oh no. Balrock was reckless, you were fucking stupid! I'm going to give you one choice, considering it's the only thing I can think of. If I can pull the curse off any of us, I'm going to put it into you. That's your penance! I accept my hand. Deal. As long as the kids are safe. I told you anything I can do, I will. Frocious will shake his head at Fane. For that was not very moist. Rosas, the, uh, the opportunities we have to save them involve getting them- You are burdened them... by your passions. You are blinded by your rage. The path blinded of... by his rage. The path of moisture is a difficult one. Save who it's you hard. can. <laughs> as far as I can see, the only thing we're burdened by right now is two entombed and rock people that we can't save. I have something and I can do. And the fact that our like... way of transportation has indeed also been petrified. I. And it's gonna turn and walk like 10 15 feet away and take a deep breath. I'm gonna start packing stuff together. Frosis will sit in this river. Uh, is now is the time. <laughs> is now the time. What do you think, Arcadum? Is now the time? Do your thing, man. I think it's time. I'm gonna shed my outer layer of clothing, revealing the uh, the mark. Okay. And I'm gonna begin to pray. Okay. Before I pray for any salvation, before anything continues, I first pray that you can forgive me for the words I spoke. to try and win over people that would never be. My goddess Mytheria, I offer you your humble servant for those who have done nothing wrong. For those who 
deserve this life more than a bounty hunter with a good eye. I pray for their salvation and I offer myself as trade. Amen. The only response you hear is the wind and the trees and the flowing water. Then we'll sit down cross-legged and look at Frosis and take a deep breath. Join me in the water. Feel He'll only your legs be wetted. Feel your top be dry. Focus upon the meeting of the two. For there you will feel moist. And see the truth of the middle path. It's the only way. Sorry, I'm still getting this voice down. <laughs> uh, then we'll take a deep breath and close his eyes. I... Process, I... How can you cancel temperance in the face of extremes? Think carefully, my friend. Each of us have moments of dispassion and passion. Moments where we are extreme in either direction. The boy's path is not a perfect one. There will be times when you are dry and times when you are soaked. What is important is that you strive to maintain balance. For when balance is achieved, clarity is given. It is true, your companion has performed a grave mistake and has been swallowed by the forest. Your other companion, in a moment, perhaps of foolishness, perhaps of passions that you do not know of, in either case, has performed a mistake. But look within your own reflection. Did you not also cause such travesty? Hmm? Did you also not cause such problems with your own passions? Have you not led you and your companions into danger unnecessary but forthright to yourself? Hypocrisy is a dangerous and flimsy shield. There is no greater threat to the moist path than hypocrisy. Understand this, young Fane. I do not ask that you forgive him. Forgiveness is not some kind of solve. It is soft, it is subtle, and it takes time. But look around you in this place and at this moment. Now is the time for the middle path. Save your companions. If you cannot, try. For regrets will embitter you, and you shall become soaked with your emotions. Now, we have work to do. Let us rise and see it done. Yay! <laughs> Uh, then we'll stay, stay an extra moment. Take a deep breath. Sort of open his eyes again and, and you can see sort of in his body language that he stops like rapidly analyzing the situation and solutions and extremes. And he will walk past the Kurt and first head towards Elsie. <laughs> um. 
I'm gonna throw a ration at Silver as he's done praying. Good, like, you have the audacity. After all the progress you've hindered now, to pray to the one goddess that nailed us to the cross and left us to die. Are you muted, radio? No. Okay. That's my RP. I'm remaining silent. Okay. Ugh. I'm sure we'll go back inside and keep packing stuff together. Alright. Um... I could have even mentioned that this entire area is like cursed, like soaked in cursed energy, right? Yep. And that same energy is like clung to Elsie and the other petrified people. Yep. And it is calcifying. Um, it is quite calcifying. Is there a way to arcana check and try and, instead of the initial thought of just funneling it into Silva, um, sort of use my own body as a bridge to siphon it from Elsie through me into the area? Sort of returning it back to its source? You could certainly try. Is there kind of check it? Never mind, that's a six. But that is the first fault. And well. What are you trying to do? Do you really think you can help them? Like this? I... Do. Honestly. And what is he doing? He caused all of this together with Volrock, yet he's just standing there in silence. It, it is not, Simon. We cannot hear you. Colossus. Because you're petrified. <laughs> well, it's, his mic isn't working, also. <laughs> oh. I used my birthday footy for that. For the oh. Arcana? Alright. Oh. Damn. Old. <laughs> I, Alright, well, with the 22, um, the problem isn't diffusing the magic, it's curing the physical body and then removing it. And the only mm -hmm. way you're going to be able to do that is by finding the source of the curse and then undoing it with a piece of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Finding the source of the curse. Yeah. Uh, and my assumption isn't that the curse was the Laywell itself, but something else that no. catalyzed off the Laywell. Mm. Yeah, that's what, I, that's mm. what I thought. No, no. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Do you convey this information? I'm thinking. Testing. There you are, hey, bud. We can hear you, buddy. Uh, okay. No, my miss. <laughs> no, my miss. Um. Me amo es paquito pinga. I'm so sorry for you. Oh, uh, so the best way to cure it is finding the source. It's a moist that way. Um. Again, with uh, yeah, this place is just cursed as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think if we have any leads that this could even tie to, but uh, perhaps we can follow where Balrock went. Frosis gives a croak cough. <clears throat> Fear not, young Fane. Hold on. Fear not, young Fane. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> Fear not, young Fane. Now I will show you my power. Ask your question. Where is the source of the curse? Hey! Time for me to use my power. <laughs> Alright. Frosis will open his mouth omega-wide and will point it to the sky. 
he will start to vibrate and he will fire his tongue into the sky and there it will stay 20 feet in the air oh my god as he will use his divination power <laughs> and now you know what Frosus does as a familiar divination yes are you telling me that this was a tutorial the whole time yes you made it into one. Yes. <laughs> so I could just ask Frosus questions and he just divines the answers. Correct. Uh, so, oh my so god. The tongue, okay, okay. The tongue goes 20 feet in the air. Yes. Right? So he can taste the future. Oh my god. Uh, it tastes like. All right. Uh, and then Frosus will go. I, I, I don't know what he's doing. What? Is it pointing at something? I don't understand. What is he doing? He's... Tracking? Is he vibrating? Think... Well, yes. I can, does he, vi you can does see he vibrate more if you look in the direction? What is going on? I, he's trying to find the source of the curse. If we find the source, we undo the entire lot of it. That means we get the carriage back. Which is probably the most useful yeah. part of all of this. Sagittus, sweeping the clouds away on my way, where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, Are you laughing or crying? I have the answer. Oh. Then the source what? of the curse is found within a dark tower far to the north. Oh. Yay! We, we want to make that in, in how many days they have left. <laughs> Correct. That's fair. I have, <laughs> but I have found a way to, to cure it, though. Oh. <laughs> The source Let's of the curse them. appears to be the trees themselves. We must oh. find a large one and strip it of its bark. And then oh, we yes. have to perform dark rituals in order to free them from the curse. Yay! Uh, I'll say no more. I... I... Mm. Okay. Uh, look around for a big tree. I guess. That tree is not big enough. Oh. Would, would you like me to find one? Frost, let's find her a tree. Okay. <laughs> Frost will sit on Mazakin's head. He'll make a face of immediate disgust from the moisture. All right, he's gonna ride it to your head. Uh. <sighs> All right, Frozus will drive his werewolf to try and go find a nice tree. Oh, look, you two are alone. You want him to do some role play, maybe? Kissing? <laughs> oh. You want to kiss oh me? <laughs> now kiss. Now kiss. All of this was done in the heat of passion. Oh, oh no. God. Dude, that would be the ultimate twist. They just start making out as soon as she leaves. Finally, what? the femoid's gone. <laughs> Why are you all <laughs> like this? <laughs> I mean, your first love interest is petrified right now, so. Simon is like, little kiss, eh? He's still, right. he's still like, he can hear it, he can see it, he just can't move or speak. He just sheds a tear in he his petrified. I only I suffer. Can suffer. <laughs> I can still suffer. <laughs> the statue shivers slightly. <laughs> he summons all his strength to move his lips. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Alright. Uh. Trying to think of if Fane would even like go to JJ, rather than just staying with Elsie. Okay. Well, 
While you think about that, oh boy, it's time for a Maz and Frosis adventure. Oh. Whee! Yay! <laughs> Do you have to sit on my head? No. Then get off, and she will try to swipe him off. He's stuck to your head. Ah! <laughs> He'll do the dog shake, you know, the little full body shake. He, he will he will wobble back and forth, but his center of gravity is balanced. <laughs> oh. He is too <laughs> moist. Oh, God. Ah. He wobbles to and fro. Then find the tree faster. If you spent more time walking and less time trying to get me off, there would be less total time I am on your head. Oh. She will... Go into dog form and move faster. All right, he will fall down from his elevation a little bit. <laughs> As you are a full dog, he will go. I do what you need. And he will scratch you behind the ears. Good dog. Oh. <laughs> there is moisture. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough out of you. That's, that's an... enough out of that. That's if he finds the, the, the big enough tree, she will turn back into the hybrid form. Oh, we, we're going to go find a tree. Oh, no. Find a oh, tree to bark at? Uh, if you could. You're people right now. I don't know how to transform tokens. Map is still loading. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. You're loading. Whee! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you guys know like the hand movements that he's doing. Yeah. Like, the whole oh, thing. Oh yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Every time you take a uh, a step towards the moist path. Yay! Oh god. <laughs> Moisture. Don't forget to mark the I trees in your territory. No. God, no. I just. What? <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry about That's that. That's pretty cool. Stop looking around. That is... All right, you load. I mean, I am. I spawn in zoomed out. Stop. But why does the camera keep zooming out? That's so weird. Is that one of you? Who? I think that's... Hades is here. No, oh, that's Necro. Hmm? Well, why are Corda curses? <laughs> it's like we're getting a crossover after all. All right. Uh, Frosis will drive Mazikeen over here. Oh my god. All right. This tree looks kind of big and possibly important. Is it? All right. You come... Is that a tree? To the hand and... All right. Frosis parks you in front of this giant tree with a statue, and you see um, this. Um, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? All right, you see what appears to be a man uh, growing out of another petrified man, except that the man that's growing uh, out of it has been cut nearly in twain. Behold! I cannot see. The so Yep. The source? Hold on. Oh, they don't have vision. I have vision because I am process. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me give you guys vision. <laughs> also, that is an awful name for a tree coming out of somebody. Bubbling. There you go. Can you guys see now? Oh, we... God. I was just looking at the stream. <laughs> Alright, this is what you guys see against the tree. Oh. Okay, anyway. God. Behold, the source of the curse. Oh. Then, you want me to do what? Why that? You must get a sample. Okay. And she will claw at it until something breaks off. 
All right, let me start pulling pieces off of him. Malfrosis watches with his unblinking eyes. All right, you pull off a nice petrified piece of man. Oh. Happy. Let me see. He'll hold it up. That should work. Yay! Is there anything else on him? Like, is it, was uh, this like a... Why don't you make a perception doodles? check? Five seconds. No, we're leaving. This is disgusting. Good okay, bye! I have been left behind. Yay! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> we slingshot. We slingshot him. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there anything on the tree? On the actual, like, whatever the fuck that is? Oh, yeah, that's that all kinds see? of stuff. You want to go look at that? I probably should look at that, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're not stepping too close to that. That seems suspiciously, like, not good. Well, you can see that this massive tree is twisted and gnarled and seems to be fading in and out of, uh, what would you call it? Fading in and out of, um... Not existence? No, no, like a, like a, in and out of, like, a fading form. You also notice that your fur is covered in a sort of white and, and, and black kind of energy. You feel as if it's pressing down on you, but it, it seems to not really have any effect on you. You think that mm. if the others got close to this, it would probably have a harmful effect on them. Can I tell if it's because of Frost's presence or something I have? Uh, it is unlikely that it is because of Frosis himself, although Frosis also seems unaffected. Well, Frosis is just... himself, so no wonder. The main character. The main character, actually, yeah. <laughs> well, let's investigate this then. Or, like... Alright, get in Can there. I tell why this has grown here? Or if this is recent, or... Oh, this, this tree is very old. Very mm. old indeed. Is it... It's not petrified, right? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. What about this part? Oh, well, you're gonna have to do an investigation. Oh no. Intelligence? My good stat, no. Where is it? No. Classic. Well, as you get Classic. closer, you can see that the statue is melded in with the tree. You're not quite sure if the tree is separate from the statue, or if they're the, the same, or a singular entity, it's not really it's not really clear. Um, the statue has a door on its front. A large door that, uh, presuming it could be opened, uh, would be several feet uh, in width, about ten feet or so, and eight feet tall. A door for a giant. But you don't really see any way to open it. Can I try to break it in? Sure. Move over what there. What do you want me... If you want to do that. Wait, where is it? Is it like here? Oops. Yeah. Oh, I see. What do you want me to... Roll for this. Athletics. Uh, Everything screams at me to not do it. We're not doing it. Man, <laughs> that's like one. That's a, one, that's two, two, ones, oh, and a two. One, three, and one. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. Ma tries to press open the door, and it's just a dog pawing at the door to be let in. I'm not having a good feeling about this. I guess some things are left to be sure. Let's go back. All right, and as you turn to walk away, Mazakin. Oh, oh no. You hear this. Man. Sorry, camera. You hear this.
a knocking on the stone. On the stone? Mm -hmm. on, the, on the dude? No, on the other side of the door. No. Uh -oh. Who's in there? I'll knock back. Well, they probably can't understand me, but... Well... No answer. You you hear more knocking. Angry knocking, or it kind of mixes itself up, as if trying to respond to you. Hmm. I'm gonna look at process. Do you know? Anything about this? Anything behind this? Who could that be? You seem to know more about this place. Unfortunately, I cannot use my divination. I have already expended it until the next rest period. Oh. But, generally speaking, when one has a door closed, one wishes for it to be open. Hmm. Well, I'll try again then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Gross is fine! Alright, you press against the door, starting to pr push with all of your strength. <laughs> and you are barely able to get anything to budge on the door. It's It's so heavy and solid and it's definitely locked. But while pressing against it, you notice something. You can feel a vibration on the other side. A magical thrum. Something wants to get out. Something inside. Your instincts... And I animalistic as they are, begin to tell you that you are in great danger. Oh god. Well, we'll let go then. We're leaving. I don't know what kind of magic creature you are, but your instincts are terrible. Let's get out of here. And we're gonna absolutely dash away. With whatever I have of the person <laughs> up front. Okay, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get oh. the fuck out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Alrighty. Frozis and Mazikeen return. Uh, with further ado, would, uh, would JJ approach Fane at all? Ready? He's just standing there. Menacingly? Menacingly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, so he's wait. just standing there, just lost. Let me wait till Mazikeen comes back. Just the sexual tension hanging in the air. Mm-hmm. My god. Fuck all. <clears throat> More than the area already being first. You coward. Alright, Frosis and Mazakine come uh rolling up. I'm not loaded yet. Oh but never mind. Same for whatever reason it's reloading this map. Mazikeen is stuck in a time warp. Mm hmm Because of all the moisture on her head. Time warp again. We were just on this map. Why is it reloading though? Did you drag the entire players back? It's an animated map. Oh, so it'll load each time. All right. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, here we are. Oh, turn oh, back. Yeah, yeah. Sorry I had to hit you with all this high quality mappage with realistic trees mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and moves. It's, it's cool as fuck. Cool. I'll come back. Here. I don't know if this is what you wanted, but this is what the frog showed me, so... Here you go. I'll sort of hold on to it without, like, taking it out of her hand yet. And look up at her. There's some fucked up shit over there, or we need to leave. I... I'm sure there is. No, I'm but talking for... like people growing out of other people, and a very not good-looking tree, plant, whatever. I heard I... noise behind the door. I tried to open it because the frog told me doors should be opened in the moist path, but there was something behind there that should not be let out. Single eyebrow raise. That's his guest lady. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kick him lightly away. <laughs> he will stick to your foot. Nah. <laughs> uh, sort of taking it from her hand this time. He'll just say, "Whatever about any of that." I'm glad that you're safe too. Aphrosis, what do we gotta do? I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, last thing mentioned was making a binding with this. Mm -hmm. We're taking it to the source. That is the source. You have the source. Yeah. Press, I don't know, press it against that her. That is all the what... divinations revealed to me. Use your medicine check. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a fucking 10. Oh, that was an awful roll. Can I assist them on this? Do you have medicine trained? I do not. No. But I listened <laughs> to the instruction. <laughs> Well, let's well. find out what happens from this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the from the piece that was handed to me, do I feel that it's like conductive of this kind of energy, or do I like is it saturated in it? What? All what's right. The so here's what's going on. Uh, yeah. The bark is the source of the curse, and therefore it's kind of the vessel in which the curse originates. So now you mm -hmm. have a place to put the curse when you take it off, but the process is still very dangerous as you do not have access to the actual magics that make such a thing possible. So, isn't gonna... that, Wait, isn't that something I can do? You do what? Curse magic? Yes. But you don't yes. have medicine. Uh, can he assist me with the medicine and I do the cursing? Or could she assist me with the, med with the medicine by knowing about curses? Do Is you, there any way we do can... You, do you have Arcana trait? I do not. No, she's dumb. I am. <laughs> Lol. Already. No, um, I, I didn't mean you're dumb, but without training in arcana. Yeah, yeah, you said it now. There's no take backs here. Oh my god. I can, Oh my god. I offered nothing to this. I could do a sick ass flit, but that's all I can offer. Oh, <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. Uh, right. <laughs> What kind of check will it take to uh, effectively use Permalin Fusion style effects to funnel it off of Elsie and into the source? You're basically going to get a skill challenge of medicines, medicine checks. Ah, so about as good as it's going to get, right? Yeah. Uh, checking if I have anything that can help. I could summon two spectral frogs. I don't think that's going to do much, though. <laughs> uh, Emotional support? Emotional support's um, a good point. Nah, that's that's everything I can do. Alrighty. Uh, good luck. Bane will sort of place a hand on Elsie's uh, petrified shoulder and hold the source in the other hand and attempt to use himself as a bridge to funnel the curse off of her and into the... into the barrack. Why, why do you keep putting pens on my map, bro? Like, what's happening right now? It's, 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 <laughs> a, it's a bad habit. <laughs> It's right in his eye, dude. Like, what the fuck? Hey, just listen, I'll, I'll pet him. Pin. Pet. <laughs> you know? Okay. Make me a medicine check. Can I use this to assist him in any way? Uh, let me take a look here.
It consumes magic. Uh, I suppose you could... I suppose you could channel. Oh, boy. That would help. Well, we'll try that then. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna kneel there, down hey. and channel. Uh, normal advantage. What's the? This is a normal roll. Another ten. Oof. Wild. Great start. All right, Fane, as you place the bark against uh, Elsie's body and her form, I start to try and focus your energy to coerce the curse back into its vessel. The curse is attracted to its vessel but it's attracted to the uninfected more. It tries to get into your magic, and you pull back. You could try again, but with each subsequent failure, it increases the chance that you'll be petrified as well. Uh, he will show no indication of failure. And do it again. Okay. This time, you coerce the curse to go into a specific point. The extremities of Elsie's body begin to free themselves from the petrification. You've gathered the energy into one specific area, and now you need to transfer it into the source. Make me another one. Alright, Fane, you take the conjured curse and transfer it from the skin into the vessel. Now, as the two are linked, you'll have to drain carefully all of the petrification off of Elsie and into this piece of bark. Make me a medicine check once more. All right, yes. you move the bark slowly over Elsie's body until finally she is freed from her petrification. Elsie, you catch your breath, breathe deep, you are now awake. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're panicked, it's okay. Things went bad, but you're okay now. Just Take your time, drink some water, eat something. It'll be okay. Where's that orcish fuck? He's gone, and I don't know where. JJ's by the cart, and his children are petrified. I'm going to help Simon, and if I can help the kids, I will. But for now, this is one step at a time. <laughs> She'll shakily step back. The situation is pretty bad, and we shouldn't linger here for too long. I have helped him gather stuff he needs to get you out of this, but I have seen stuff that is not to be trifled with, at least not with us. And we should leave here. Yet the horses are petrified as well, so we probably need to walk. Gather your hmm. things out of the cart. Alrighty, Fane, as you move towards Simon to begin focusing on the transference of the curse. Yep. Make me a medicine check. Oh boy. Okay. That's a good one. With this failure, you try to transfer the curse, but instead the curse inside of the bark starts to pour out. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see here. Perception checks, everyone. Perception. One. Oh. Everything. <laughs> you hear the sound of crunching tree uh, of crunching branches, rustling bushes, as these creatures come screaming out of the forest at you. Shit. Oh shit, indeed. <coughs> mm. Nice. That's all. All right. It rolled a twenty. Get your hands up. Oh. Here it comes. And this is a difficult fight, so. God, I wish the music loaded sometimes. Mm -hmm. I know the track, however, and we'll get it myself. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. One second. They're loaded. Creature's gonna run up, and it's gonna try and take a bite out of Mazikeen. Mm -hmm. 17 or higher. And I'll miss. miss. Bane. Uh, can I Arcana check these things? You can Marshall check Rather them. Rather than... Alright. No, 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 Marshall. Ah. Insufficient. Okay. Uh, trying to purge the curse is a full action or longer? It's an action. I do not think setting up for that is a good idea. Um. Bum, bum, bum. After the surge of the mana wild, do we have any exposure added to us except for JJ? Nothing except what I've told you already. All right. Bum, 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 bum. I will. I uh, use my free cast of mage armor. No, negative. Yes. Yeah, free cast of mage armor. Uh, from Elven stuff. So my AC2, 13, 1, 16. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Does Frosis have any combat actions I have access to? Uh, Frosis' only combat action is the use of his divination to give you a bonus to AC, but you've already used it to ask a question. That's cool as fuck. Alright. 
Uh, bum, bum, bum. No one needs healing yet. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my action to shift. Okay. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast hex on this one. Okay. Got this somewhere. Hold on. Oh, I guess I don't. Mm. No, all right. Just remind me that one's hexed. Yep. All right, that it for you. Uh, yeah. I don't know my actions. Marshall. Marshal. Oh yeah, shit. I could have marshaled. You can marshal. It's fine. Should still be active, yeah. Nice. We have a plus two to attack rolls all over the 20 <laughs> feet of his petrified body. Let's go. Or 30 feet. Okay. Excellent. Tamwa? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Splendiferous. So my hand crossbows have the deadly feature now, correct? Do you have the fighting style that gives it to him? The, uh... Hold Ramadan's on, I just had it pulled up. Yep, Ramadan's Fury. Then yeah, you I do. sure do. Okay... So, I assume the cart is right here, so I have to move up to see around it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bang bang. And I am a hand crossbow. Monster. Oh. 15? 15. Nope. 15 doesn't hit. Mm -mm. And my second hand crossbow? Well, 14's right. definitely not going to hit. Unfortunate. Well, does anyone else see this right here? Well, no. That's, that's because concerning. You, that's because you moved. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, see, I've marshaled. I've done that. Um, splendid. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Hmm, you're wearing chainmail. I don't like that. Oh no. Alright, puke all the over The Malder will vomit on you. Dexterity mm -hmm. saving throw. Finally, something I'm somewhat okay at. <laughs> well. Wait, hold on. Something's not right there. <laughs> oh no, it's correct, because I have it in con and strength. Oh, you didn't choose dex? I I guess not. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, well, alright. Unfortunate! Alright, uh, something happens to you. You're covered in goop. It's not pleasant, it's gross. Yippee! What? I'm a rock. <laughs> I want to run. I will instead take a nibble out of Mazikeen. A miss. Okay. Elsie. Okay. Move up there. And then where's... Um... Marshall. Twelve? Negative. You guys have to stop okay. rolling twelves. I'm just saying, you guys gotta stop giving me twelves. No! Well, no! at least it's not sevens. Okay, so... 
Hey, fucking sucks. I'm gonna attack with Sekolo with the drone to start a combat. There you go. 20 hit? Yep. Nice. Five. Snack attack. Next, next nuke. Something. And. I got my second one over here. Do it again. Um, you should have rolled sneak on the first attack. Sneak, sneak attack? You gotta give me some sneak? Room. Sorry. That's what I meant by snack attack? <laughs> Alright. I wanna have a snack attack. Oh, you must. Yeah. 2d6, right? Uh, yes. All right. Tragic. Damage with the second attack. Six. And Fifteen total. Hmm. Damage dealt. Yep. Partial action, bonus action. Can't do anything else. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. Oh wait, it should only be the uh, a D four of Sasha on the second attack. Because it's offhand. No, that's a minus two damage. Or Sounds good. All right. Okay. Well, since you gave me the stibbity stab, I'll give you the stibbity uh, the mouth. Mouth. Action. Mouthing off. I'm gonna mouth off. Oof. Oh. Uh, okay. Six points of damage, Elsie. Uh, I think armor isn't repaired, right? So I take the full might. Oh, your armor isn't repaired? No, I don't think we had a chance to repair it since... All right. Uh, in that case, you feel that the creature's teeth bite deep into your flesh and rend it. Mm. Ooh. It's not good. Alrighty. Push be two. Oh, well, that's uh, not a twelve. That's good. Um, bum bum bum. Hmm. Action Marshal. Never mind. Bonus action, healing word. Current, uh, which current exposure? Uh, after this, it will be three plus five from the rock. They're being tracked separately on my sheet. Okay. Uh, six healing for Elsie. Um. I need to be within 20 feet of Mazakin, so I will stand here. Yes. Good. Alright, Mazakin. Oh, okay. Yes. We are gonna do the attack on the top one. With the... Oh, just see it. So we'll be that, and I'm gonna use the Mana Knight feature to shoot it with this as well. I will take that exposure, please. Would you like to allow me to take it? Go ahead. Yoink. So it will be this. Perfect. Oh, that Not should be deep. using your uh, charisma also. All right. Does this one use it? No. No. So it will be a d6 plus your charisma because your mana knight plus the d10. So it's one plus three, which is four, plus four is eight total for the first hit. Uh, plus the hex. He's hex. Yeah, plus one is hex again, d4. One d6. Six. six. And that's necrotic, in case damage type notice. So, six plus four is ten, plus one is eleven, plus your charisma modifier to attack is... 
14. Plus three twice. Plus no, three. plus, so plus, plus three once. So plus three. Mm -hmm. So that's 14 damage. Yes. I want to see her do it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, you fax damage on the second attack. Yeah. Nope, no one. Nine on the second. And the last doesn't hit. Nice. Well done. Well done. And then we marshal. Oh, go ahead, marshal. Sorry. No. Uh, Never mind. We do not. No, marshal. we don't. Thank Goobus. Speaking uh, of Goobus. All right. What would you like to identify? There's HP. There's AC. There's its attack statistics, defensive statistics. And then there's its two special abilities, Acid Spray and Rending Teeth. Well, I've been gooped, so the goopy one. Acid Spray. This great, uh, whatever you are affected by this ability, or excuse me, this creature vomits on an enemy within range. Uh, the range is up to 10 feet, or 15 feet, excuse me. Um, a Dexterity mm -hmm. 14 saving throw is rolled to avoid it. If you fail, your armor and shields gain the brittle and cracking property. Brittle means that the AR goes down even if they hit, and cracking means that whenever you take AR damage, you also take AC damage. Okay. Well, shit. I don't know if anyone got that. I was eating, but... Brittle and cracking. Oh yeah, where are we collecting this now in notes? Uh, I just put a quick note in notes. I'm still eating. So. Oh. It's all okay. good for now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do you got? All right, this guy right here instead. Better to focus fire. This one's already going to hit me. I'm not going to be able to kill it this turn. I might as well help with trying to kill this one this turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's not a twelve. It's double that. Nice job. Very nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Bing bang. The game. <laughs> Wanna watch me do it again? All right. Nine damage total. All right, that it? Uh, we. Oui. Yes, yes, that's it. I'm a bite JJ with my mouth. Mouth bites. Oh my god. Five damages. No, please. All right. Not my succulent juicy ass. All right, is your chainmail damaged? I should have killed. Him. Uh, it is now apparently. Okay, so that was you... fresh chainmail. So you take no damage, but you're reduced by six, and your AC goes down by one. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, do I need to do that or you got it? You gotta track that. 
Uh, I'm gonna eat Mazikeen with my mouth. Not hits. Alright, Mazikeen, do you have any armor? A magic armor? So, no. Okay, that's... Alright. Wait, I do. Wait, hold. I'm no, holding? I don't. Okay. You... Okay, you don't. I don't, have it. I don't have it on. I shouldn't have it on. Ow. It's updated. Alright, I'll see. Okay. 16? What would you like to know? Uh, let's go for the rending bite. Rending bite. Or rending teeth, excuse me. Uh, this creature causes 8 bleed damage against enemies that have no AR. Okay. That's gonna suck. Hmm. The mother came with the eight blade right now. She does. Fuck. Ow. That's, gonna be That's good. not good. Nah, fuck. In that case, let's. I mean, it's quick. I'll attack the one that's nearly dead. 20. Nice. I can choose when to apply a sneak attack if it goes right, or is it the first time I would damage? You don't have damage? to use it. You can choose it. Like, if you think you can kill that without using sneak attack, then you don't have to use it. You can save it for your second attack in the round. Yeah, you can do that. Grant. In that case, I'll save it for the next attack. Okay, give me some damage. More damage. Nailed it. Was it exactly four? It was. Oh my god. <laughs> Calculations, <laughs> correct. Nice. In that case, I'll stick the same sickle in the other hand and just throw it at the one between Maskin and Simon. In, uh, where is... Uh, plus two from Song War makes it 18, right? Um, did you move up? You throw no, it? No, I... Oh, was... you threw it? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Uh, throwing that 16 total, or 18? 18 with the Song of War. That'll hit. Damage. Excellent. All right, I'll put sneak attack. attack on this. Yes, sir. I'm getting better at ropes. Pickle flying in. Mm-hmm. AC-130 inbound. <laughs> Nice throw. That hit. Mm. Um, I'll move up next to this tree, and then... Yeah, that's everything I could do. Or actually, I'll... Oh. I'll take out my longbow, my shortbow, and okay. put away the sickle. Alright. Fade. Ass. <laughs> What's Mazakin's current HP? Uh, 13. I really should heal you. That's really annoying. I want to do something else. Hold. See, it won't attack you if there's other targets. See, we're going big brain on this one. Yeah, but then I can't attack because I bleed. Uh, because that's a multi-attacker, Katum, right? Uh, from the... the... Shapeshifters, right? Since she uses she a takes single action once, to attack, right? she only takes it once. That's correct. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you can go to five. So no, she's not because... going. She's not going to take twenty-four damage. <laughs> I was thinking, like, ooh, cool, more was... damage on an attack than my max HP is in total. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I want to summon two frogs here and here and beat the shit out of this thing. Do it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Ah, uh, here, kid him. I got primal infusion. I have uh, the ice flows background. I believe. That gives double summons. Uh, and I've got this uh, lovely spell. Uh, in under my character sheet, there should be one called Fane's Bestial Spirit. Can you place two of them above and below the one next to Mazikin, please? Yes, but I won't <laughs> like it. Good. 
They're gonna look weird in the black and white, aren't they? <laughs> yes. Gain the look of Frosis. Take both hands and plant them into the earth and send a surge of magic. Sort of burrows under and pops up here and here. Oh my god. It is time. Uh, that does give me three exposure of <laughs> So we're at seven. Okay, hold on. How much exposure are you got now? Seven. Oh, uh, five in the rock, but seven on me. Oh. You should track the rock somewhere separately. I do. Oh. oh. Music change. <laughs> A bang or something. Why are they so small, Wayne? <laughs> because they're small. I, I don't know why I thought they're like player sized tokens. Just. Oh. All right, uh, as this <laughs> as this uh, frog comes in, hoity toity, no problem. We'll take a real good care of it, fine, won't we, boyo? Hoi, we see that shanelly let fly. I will. Mazakim just... will give you a stare. <laughs> be like, no, not more. Right, two toad no. knights will be summoned. He'll oh, just wake at you. Alrighty, oh. it's slamming time. They have pack tactics yeah, that yeah. they give to I each know, other. I know. I see. Yes. yes. I'm so sad that I don't get those. Yeah. Toy it, toy it, let it go! Uh, first one, 24. Uh, that was min damage, that's so sad. Wanna see me do it again? Slightly above min damage. <laughs> This makes me happy. This pleases me. You waited for this for so long. This was the entire reason this character is Hoity toity toity boity toity shoity toity toity. Having a hoity, oh no, hey, oh no, I believe I was giving it. Property, potato, famine, alcohol. Oh my god. Oh my god, indeed. It's like my grandfather's back from the dead. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my bonus action to remove the hex uh, from this one to this one since it died. Look at that, and William! Then... It's a big and dog! Then... I do think that dog's got oh. hands, William! <laughs> I can't concentrate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. We're gonna. What color do you I... think her eyes are? I think they're chartreuse! <laughs> Did you say that, William? Oh, no. Her claws are lit with eldritch energy. Oh, be careful! You roll that means there's a leprechaun about. Yeah. No. Oh wait, that was Not another, another attack roll. I'm an idiot. <laughs> there. So. Four, five, eleven. Yes. Eleven, you say. Yes. And then one more. I am not taking that exposure below. Okay. There. The hex is already in this. Hex is a D6, not D4. Oh my god. So, I have uh, unfortunate <laughs> news for you, Mazakin. They're immune to necrotic? No, you're unconscious. You bleed on bonus action and then action. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. it happens. Oh, look at that, Billiam! She be all tuckered out! That's a good girl dog! Boy? <laughs> boy? Gir girl? 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 Alright, that's a girl, alright. It is. It yells from over there. Good. Oh. My character oh, no. is finally complete. Good to know. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna take 
Oh, shit. I can't take the disengage action if I want to be able to move and do something. Uh, see, this is the point where I wish I could go uncanny dodge. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how many times uh, I wish I had that. Hey, buddy, you want to take a bite out of this sweet, succulent, juicy, plump uh, body? Yes. Okay. Yep, that'll hit. Yep, now that'll do... I'll lower my AR, but that does five damage. And it lowers AC as well. Yes, that's that's what I meant, sorry. And let me go ahead and bring my armor rating down to three, because I believe that chainmail gives me only five armor rating. Oh no, six. Okay, so I should be at four armor rating. Yeah. So that should have done and whatever. You live and you learn. Take four damage. Okay. Uh I forgot how to take damage. Oh my god. I got it. There you go. Yippee. You did it. You did it. I did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Um, and I would like to move Mazakin here. Oh. Make an athletics check. Come on. <laughs> Base DC is always 10. Hey, that's enough. Yoinkers. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to finish my movement by moving here. And that's my turn. Wrap up. Was it good for you, too? Critical hit. No way. <laughs> 12 damage. Uh, yup. So, because that's actually minus four, so that's eight damage, or do I take the full 12? You still reduce it by your AR. Okay. 21 minus eight. 13. Splendid. Gang up, gang up, gang up, gang up, gang up, gang up. Whoa there! Looks like someone's gonna get a pounding, wouldn't you say, <laughs> William? We're gonna teach this old leechy boy a few questions and answers. Oh Hi, Shaneli, I am fly. On the rocky road to double in one, two, three, four, five. Hunter hair, I'm gonna get all the same with all the weight. You see one dash past it, uppercut it. The second one hops on the first one's shoulders and then uppercuts it again further into the air. Oh my god. How are everything? My children are perfect. Okay. Do you ever just pack tactics? Yeah. Constantly. I fit them all in one suitcase, so. Oh, uh, oh. Fane, can you. Hold uh... on, real quick. Make me a. Uh, I guess. Does anybody have nature trained? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. No. Never mind. <laughs> Only survival. <laughs> You're sleeping. Like I said, mm -hmm. all I could do is backflip really good. <laughs> About that. Just... Bane, could you uh, try and help her? No, I got it. I hope so, because I can't do shit. Well, I have two bodyguards now, so. It's concerning. It's Either funny. way, I'm going to hide behind this tree. <laughs> On the section hide. 12? Uh, 
We can still see you, lass! For the north! <laughs> Holy God. Hold on. No, he's no, a What was that, William? You heard me, William. Well, we're not going to be talking any of that nonsense here today. We're in the middle of a fight. It don't matter the scrap. Always for the north. Ugh. <laughs> I can already tell that I'm going to like one of them. Does right. it look like the mother can see me? Yes, the north, the north, the north frog can see you. Oh, the mother. No, the <laughs> Oh! The mother can also. Well, the mother cannot see you because it has he no eyes. Mm. But you don't think that you're stealthing from him. Good enough <laughs> for me. I'll take a shot at my short bow. Uh, Looks like the crystal that. cave all over again. Yeah, true. We can't do anything there, so I shall <laughs> succeed. Uh, does it look like it's specifically going to go after Silver to down them, or is it going to go for whatever smells most blood? Like. Okay, tactics then. for tactics <laughs> okay let's see here <laughs> isn't this fucking song a jam it's an absolute groove. Yep. An absolute bangerific. Certified hood classic. Brought to you by Milton Bradley. Don't you love when all the frogs dance together, you know? Okay, so their tactics generally are to gang up on the most injured creature they can. However, it seems that they have uh that there was a shift in their behavior when the two creatures were summoned it seems that they either have an adherence or a fear uh or perhaps even a disgust of the two buff frogs <laughs> it's unclear whether or not it's because they're frogs or because they are the spiritual embodiment of the druidic power I feel so bad those frogs creep me out too. <laughs> I guess you'll have to find out. Next turn. I'm dead. Uh, instead of Marshall, could I Arcana to find out uh, if these things have any exposure on them? That isn't like curse based. Sure. All right. Ah, give me. These the creatures. Nah, one, yeah, can't know. These creatures are covered in exposure, but specifically, they are covered in the cursed corruption, a kind of exposure, mm -hmm. in the area. Uh, also, because of that, and you're looking for it specifically, you notice that a small kind of film of the same exposure is covering everyone in this area. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. seems that whatever sickness is over this land it is covering everyone the only one who seems unaffected is Mazakin. noted uh that wouldn't give me any idea of how uh, regular exposure would interact with the cursed considering i have regular like are they mingling are they affecting each other at all if you add exposure to a cursed exposure source it becomes yeah. cursed exposure and that will be a separate check to find out what amplifying cursed exposure would do there yeah. Yeah, I figure. It's all good. Hold up. Hold up. I'll kneel down incredibly calmly. Look at the buff frog. Look at the other one. Point. And then I'll use my action to heal the mother. Uh, with a healer's cut. For 3d6. Plus her charisma modifier, because she is one of those practicing Alright, here yeah. we go. 
Hold up, hold, hold up. Well, you heard the boss there, William. I sure did, William. Low lie the fields of Athen Rye. And they beat the shit out oh of it. Oh my god. It didn't let me roll damage for a second. One second. That's just for damage. And then this can be removed. Again. Again. 24 total. Gwent. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I'll feel, uh, get up. Pat you on the shoulder. They're laughing. And Eldritch Blast, <laughs> the last remaining. You can move the hex first. Oh yeah, that's She's right. I should probably move. Oh yeah, oh. hex concentration. Yeah, yeah, me stupid. Me dumb. Ah, oh. no, it doesn't matter then. Uh, she doesn't have enough storm stacks. Uh, she can't cast uh, rags and riches. <laughs> um, yeah. She doesn't have enough floating red mana. That's yes, because it's all black. What do you mean? See, what she wants to do is cast seething song, and then storm mm -hmm. into dark ritual. <laughs> I'm good. Oh my god. Anything like is fourteen enough? Fourteen is enough at this point. But do we, you are not marshals. Like Actually, you're packed at war, aren't you? Uh, hold on, let me look. Yes. Does that count? Uh... What do you want to know? What are we missing? Can we use? Uh, you, you like, don't. Can I? Yeah. Hmm? You don't know its defensive statistics or anything like that. You also don't know its AC. You gotta identify that, or their HP, which you also don't know. Can I figure out if we can use these to suck out the curse from Simon? Now the marshal check. Ah. Oh. Uh, the HP then. The HP of the creatures are 40. The current one that is alive has 23. Okay. Okay, what can you tell me about my flail? Wait, well, that was in the mana vault. The mana vault. Yeah, the only flail I own. What about it? Is it a normal flail still? Y yeah. Wonderful. I'm going to swap out my crossbows for the flail. It's time to be less rootin' tootin' shootin' and more just the tootin' part. Seventeen. Seventeen will hit. Punk. Yep. I'm gonna do the uh, fun thing now. Let me go to my features. Wait, are you? That's the that's the flow you uh. The flow you uh. But I yep. stuck the middle well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually rolled what happens to that, but you can just use it for now. Okay. Uh, fighting spirit. Apply five healing. Ba -dum. Well, you have temporary A or more. And five temp H A R. All right, that it for you. That'll do it. All right, the creature does not like these two things and will not attack them. I will instead attack Silva. And miss. Nope. Good. Elsie. It's gonna attack again. Where's. Hit, damage. Uh, I'm not within 20 feet, so it's a Oh, 16. never mind, miss. 
Oh, son of a... Hoity toity, I'm a frog. Yes, we know, William. He's going to move 35 <laughs> feet over to Simon. Just keep an eye out, Dan. Don't rock hard. <laughs> Don't come out of nowhere and say I rock oh, hard. Uh, I rock and I was going to use my action to try and fucking fix you, but like... <laughs> uh, I should have been Arcana, but it's fine. Marshall for AC. 17. Yeah, so it's all. I clicked it before thinking. Cursed. I think it's time for us to fill this this, William. I think you're right, William. We look to these two. Realize they got it. I'm gonna use my action to try and help Simon. He didn't give us With a the, command, uh... William. We don't know what to do now, William. <laughs> 22. It's just over there touching that rock. That rock looks like a man. A handsome man. William, William, finish it. Oh! <laughs> right here! <laughs> <laughs> Low lie the fields of right. Athen Rye, where Second once attack. we watched <laughs> the small free birds fly. Terrifying. Our love was on the bunk, break its face and take its teeth. It's so lonely oh, no. on the fields of Athenry. It's dead. They said I was just a healer. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, it was a twenty-two on the medicine check for the Simon thing, also. Hi, the battle be done, William. All right, William. Do you think that the boss is going to give us some alcohol? Why did you say it like that? <laughs> Always just trying to be funny. You don't. Stick with your strengths. You're good with a shillelagh. That's all. Oh, look at the little wolf lass. That was a good girl. Pet, 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 pet. Oh, hoppity, 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 hoppity. Hoppity, 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 hoppity. We only last a few rounds. Bye-bye. Actually, you last an hour. Ah, uh, never Just mind. Time. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys leave it uh, just in case this goes wrong again. I'm having him get my back. Hello, hoping uh, to Ivan. <laughs> right, well, Frosis, this is Billiam and William. Oi, look at that, Billiam! It's the vicar! Hi, vicar! <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> no. Greetings to you both. It is good to meet you. Oh, I think this one's American. Oh, damn, Yank is for the last thing we need. Oh, it's it. I'll hide it. It's it. It's it. It's it. I'm crying. Apologies for that. William gets so movement whenever he gets in front of the religious folk. Oh, right, can you get a blessing for me? Okay, I'm going to stop. Go ahead. Yeah. I, can yeah. do that. I can do that for hours. <laughs> we'll yeah, yeah. Uh, first check was a 22. Want me to do it again? All right, so a 22. You start to mm -hmm. focus the cursed energy on Simon, moving it through his body uh, mm -hmm. towards a vessel. Yes. Which is the bark. Yes. All right. Roll another medicine check. Eddie. All right. At this point, these two are going to watch what you're doing. And it's Frosis. Sure there's a lot of people watching you, Fane. <laughs> no pressure. I'm not. I'm looting. He is strangely unaffected by this. Task at hand is more important. All right. Well, you start to focus the energy back into the bark, and now you have to mm -hmm. completely remove it from Simon. The last medicine check. So you think he's gonna Thank cure you. him? I don't know. We'll find out, William. He's real good with his hands. They're soft and ladylike, like a lass's. <laughs> they sure. Are, they sure are. I can sense your care for the others. It is good to see that you walk the middle path. You're a very moist wolf. <laughs> oh, the minute turns back around. Yay! As the petrification <laughs> is taken away from All right. Simon, <laughs> your breath catches. Your eyes open. <gasps> and you are surrounded by frogs. <laughs> what is happening? 
It's, it's okay, so right, I mean, it's okay. Rosas will just float over you and look at you in the eyes. Do not worry. You have returned to the waking realm and you are cured. Praise be to the moist path. And he will flick water on your forehead. What is he saying? He is uh, giving you a blessing. Simon. Oh. She is incredibly moist. Hey, William. Yes, William. They can't understand us because we're frogs. Wait, can he? I don't know. Let's see. Go look. Oh, that one can't speak a lick of Irish. Why, well, they just be the way that it is. <laughs> uh, Stop! Stop this that! This is more important. This is more important. Uh, alright. Five minutes done. Right. We need to get to the kids and maybe even the horses. We can fully undo this. We can leave and not linger on your actions. Alright. Is there anything I can do to help us? Ah. Uh, is there? I don't know else. Uh, before that, I got much. I'm gonna oh. do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he plays you a song of love. Oh, that's right. Simon did choose Song of Love. I think he's the only one that choose. Oh, he sung a Warrior Song Weaver and got the song. Of oh, Moon, that's right. So. He doubled. He... Yeah, he doubled up. He doubled up. Yeah. Uh, he's got oh. double the fucking fresh. You healing me? It's everybody in the area, but you're the only damage. Yeah. Oh my god. So it's thirteen plus three because that's your cruise. All right, Simon, sing me a song of love so that Mazikeen might feel healed. <laughs> Mmm, shit. <laughs> Parents true love through my body. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. Healed her so hard she turned human again. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, William. Hi, William. To Oculus Orm. Oh. There's a certain amount of cringe you can see in her face, but she enjoys it anyways. And then she continues. Uh, th th thanks. No it sounds very nice. <laughs> I know you wouldn't let me, yeah. <laughs> She'll turn around and try to extract some poison from this dead thing from the poisoner's kid. From this point forward. When you use Song of Love, I want to hear Simon sing in Spanish, dude. <laughs> Mi corazón oh, no. es turio. You know, the reason why I didn't want to play Bard here now is because I was afraid this would happen. Then I could. Then I would make <laughs> you sing 99 exactly. Loft Balloons like, every I ca time. I can't. I, no, yeah, I can't. I physically can't. Can I extract some poison from the corpse, though? You know what? You can if you sing 99 Love. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, roll a survival. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is insufficient. God damn it. Can I try it again on the other one? Yes. Just botching jobs left and right. Is this a, is this a simple check? Do I get the skill no, focus this on this? Advanced. This is advanced. Okay. Hey, 15. that's enough to get some acid. Whoa! <laughs> Do I get my proficiency on this because I have the Poisoner's Kit proficiency? And the um, Poisoner's Kit? No, collecting it is survival. Oh, okay. Or animals and stuff. And using its poisoner so you... Wow. Oh, right. Alrighty. Now on to those kids. Yep. <clears throat> the wee bonnie lasses and lads. Wait, can I do one more for the last corp? Yes. Nope, no, botched that one. one too. Just ended up eating it. Fuck. Just fucking, uh, the instincts took over. All right. Uh, we'll count the children as one creature uh, for the sake of it since they equal into one body. Sure. So give me some medicine checks. 23. Boom! Uh oh, that's close, but that's good enough. And All right. the last one. Uh, hold. 26. 
Good roll. All right. The children's breath catches in their little bodies, and they wake up, and they just start crying. I'll look at one of the frogs and be like, Billion, just keep them distracted, please. William and William, William will look at each other <laughs> and nod. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop William. Make sure uh, the one with the hat doesn't go into them. Go into them? Go, go into the carriage to them. Oh. But also make sure it doesn't enter the children as well, because that would be creepy. Please. Ple <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> Silver? <laughs> I'm stop going to go and pet stop by the Stop doubling horses. down, dude. All right. <laughs> well, Billiam will uh, dance in front of the children. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Uh, the children clap delighted. All right. Horse on petrification time. Oh, God. Uh, before go. you do that, uh, sure. would you have any point mentioned curses specifically? Causing this? Uh, Fane wouldn't have. He's just getting shit done. Fair enough. Oh boy. Oh. Nice. Good. Close. Yeah. Good. Uh, that's one horse. No, no, it's both. both. They're, they're both. You just do All both right. of them. All right. The uh, horses start to breathe again and. Shake it off. Mazikeen, <laughs> you will immediately hear the horses say, That was a fucking whack! I know, right? They just start going back and forth. This is some garbage. These people suck. <laughs> Shut oh, the fuck up. You didn't help in the fight at all. Hey, look. That woman's yelling at us again. Yeah, you better get going soon. Get ready. We need to leave. All right, the horses leave. Of the carriage. No, not yet. <laughs> Hard of hearing, I assume, after being turned to stone. <laughs> She's talking a lot of shit without having any carrots in her hands. I know, right? No apples, nothing. We don't work for free around here. Oh, yes, you do. Should both, be grateful for not being a rock anymore. Both the horses will look at each other, and then they'll look back at you. What? <laughs> They just both start laughing at you. Like the uh. horse laugh where it's like <laughs> Everyone around here is unbelievable. Alright, whoa, whoa, what's happening over here? Uh well there that's going from, on. The uh, RP from earlier. Oh. Eye contact. Eye contact. Point. What? And we will begin to walk away. Oh, okay. You want to explain everything, anything, JJ? You're muted. Fuck. <laughs> Are you going to take care of my kids? Thing is, you won't. Fine then. Make sure they live a long and happy life. And what do you think you're doing? Turning myself into the church. That's Quint. Why? I've hurt innocent people. I'm not needed, nor am I wanted. You seem to make them laugh just fine with your friends. I offer nothing to this party. Quite frankly, pretty much been like this since she died. So I'm going to pay my penance and I'm going to go meet her one more time. Tip's hat. Take care of everyone. You'll you'll pause a moment. And, and why do you think the church will even kill you, JJ? 
You could just as easily walk out of here and say none of this happened and go work in the next town. Did you mute so again? Long. You muted again this whole time, bud. <laughs> no. He just didn't I just didn't anything. respond. So long. You sort of look towards the carriage. Look at JD's back. Where is he going? Start walking back. Where is he going? He's leaving. To where? To die. To die? He doesn't mm. need to go anywhere to die. He's he not worth. He can just stay here. I can't see anything. <laughs> that's because I, I, can... I removed you. Ah, oh, that's fair. I considered it, Mazikin. I considered just killing him for the sake of what he's done. I considered it reverse uh, engineering the magic I used to help Elsie and Simon. I considered just beating him to death. And, and why didn't of... you do it? Because he caused so much trouble. You'd cleaned up all the mess he did. And now he's just walking away. Where is he even going? To the church? Gonna give... He's not gonna get nailed back on the cross this time, does he know that? He does. And he leaves this burden with us. As expected. This burden will... see us probably to hike here. I'm sure there will be ways to make arrangements for them without dragging them into the west. We're not that far away, and for now they suit the cover that we need to reintroduce ourselves to civilization. Well, did he give you the merchant's badge at least? He took off his clothes, I think his jacket's over there. He leaves like, everything, I left literally everything that was on my person in the cart. Yeah. I'll search, contact, I'll search you know? through his stuff. Uh, okay. You find uh, one dagger, one flail, two hand crossbows, chainmail, crossbow bolt, a smithing kit, my camping kit, crossbow bolt case, and a symbol of Metheria. I'm gonna throw the symbol of Metheria into the river. Don't. Maybe a useful cover to have. Oh, uh, you can have it. I'll throw it to Elsie instead. Much obliged. Oh yeah, and the merchant's badge. And the merchant's badge. <laughs> the important bit. Yeah. So who wants to be the front covering face this time? Look at Simon. I mean, <laughs> I can't do it. Well, neither can I. Not with this thing still on. Jill grabbed to the collar. I'm ready to wife, so... Well, you two make a fine couple. Ah, oh, indeed you do. Here, he'll hand her the mic. Uh, the, uh, the badge. Hand him the badge. And if you call us a couple again, I'm going to garrote you in your sleep. Twins? Hmm. I don't think I have time to unpack that. We need to leave. Indeed. Let's get the fuck out of here. Billiam, William, you served me well. Rest easy. Oh, I think it's time for break time, William. Indeed, William. Now, before that, you want to go see if there's any frog bitches? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. We've got 30 minutes, boy. That's plenty of time. How far away can they be from you before they ah! disappear? Forever, I think. They grow up so fast. How many of those do you have to summon? It's concerning amounts. Frosis well, um, <laughs> will be in the cart. Um, uh -huh holding the children's hands as they cry as their father has abandoned them. Mm-hmm. Fine, we'll sit in the back. I just not really know what to say. Not many good memories to cry after your father. Maybe you should just forget about him in the first place. They'll just cry more. Even for you. Ugh. Even for you, Mace, that was a bit harsh. What? Well, it is true. What have they, what has he done to them that they can look back fondly? 
Elsie's gonna just look in place and just try to think of an answer before pretending not to hear the question in the first place and just get beside them. Ugh. Let's just get out of here. Alright. And so, the party takes once more to the wilderness and leaves the cursed forest behind. J.J. Silva wanders deep into the cursed forest. Having no arcana, he doesn't even realize what is happening to his body. He does not possess the knowledge or the inclination of what the curse in the area is doing. And thus, he walks to the white and black to an unknown fate. Alrighty. I love Billy and William. <laughs> Same. Does anyone else just have Simon on the initiative tracker? Like, you know, the yeah, one at the top? Yeah, it's just it's, Simon. It's just Simon. He's there <laughs> on his own. He's, he's, like the poster, he's like the poster boy for the campaign. He's just stuck up there. Just Ooh. Simon. It, it, it is, it he's is. in constant combat with himself. He's also still petrified on the combat tracker. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, 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 the top tracker wasn't there for me the entire combat as well. No, it was the regular tracker. That's fine, though. Hmm. Back to traveling. Indeed. With less survival. Bad. Uh, Arcanum, did you get my message? Uh, hold on, I'm looking at a hundred million things. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. Got it. Do you have art and stuff? Uh, it is almost done, but I do have some temp art. Well, it's it's fine. We'll we'll get them to a point where they can even get other characters. All right, let's see if we can get you guys uh, to heal uh, Kyo tonight. Uh, after the first night of rest, uh, I'll turn to Frosis quickly and just be like, "You uh, you divined information back there. Could you help Mazakin find the path so we don't run into such misfortune again?" The last time he tried to guide me, I almost found certain death behind the door. Did you open the door? I tried, because he and recommended it in a way. The door, wasn't f the door wasn't fully open, luckily, but whatever was behind there, everything in my body screamed at me to not to. So we instead left. If you wish for me to use my powers, I will. If that will help us on our path, absolutely. <laughs> I love him so much, but he's so gross. <laughs> the way ahead is clear for now. Yay! Rosonian throat singing. Alright. Let's go. Survival check. We need to. Okay. All right, that is Oh, the party happens upon a traveling healer. A kindly soul that offers cheap wares and advanced medicines. Oh, any healing potions? 
Yes. We, yeah, we don't have much gold, but we might as well speak to him. Yes. Well, <clears throat> I see an old woman uh, kind of pulling on her cart, and as you approach, I'm like, oh, oh, look at that, travelers. Hello, my name is Babiko. You can look at my cart if you wish. I have all sorts of medicines, ailments, tonics, anything that you need to take care of your aching body. Oh, I so, so love your dog. <laughs> oh, no. No petting. <laughs> She's did, good, but did she's you more say for that? Did you just say no petting, Evan? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that. Okay. Well, you're getting petted. Oh, it's such a good girl. No, I'm going to snap at her hand. Ooh, oh, someone's hungry. Mace, don't mm-hmm. do that. And she'll uh, pull I'll give out her some... Head. She'll pull out some bacon and give oh. it to Mazikeen. Okay. We're deciding that this woman might live this encounter. Oh. Mm. Let's, let's look over her stuff. Hmm. Uh. Do, do, do. Would uh, JJ have any gold on him? Uh, or left any gold? Uh, yes, he would have. I had. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. I, I had nothing. I wonder the amounts of gold. The kids. Not even alimony. Oh, uh, <laughs> after eating the bacon, Mazikin will jump back onto the car to her stuff. Get her fucking gold pouch and hand it to Fane. There's 144 gold in it. <laughs> looks in pouch, looks at dog, squints. Wag's tail. <laughs> you know she's um, black, she's actually a golden retriever. Oh <laughs> uh, I'll reach into the, the bacon pouch from the other merchant and throw her a piece. And then look to the fucking... <laughs> to the healer lady. Uh... You have quite a, a few pieces there. Anything you could recommend? Well, she'll gesture. All right, so she has salves of lesser restoration for a hundred gold. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Lesser restoration. Those are. Uh, oh, that's that good shit. That's that's some potent. Remedies. Ah, mm. uh, without even looking at the party thing, we'll we'll sort of reach for one. One of these can always be useful. Mm-mm. What about uh, more day-to-day remedies? Stuff for like a healer's kit. And he'll show like his own healer's kit. How much for charges of that? The charge of the healer's kit. Yeah. Uh, 15 gold, I think. Because there's 15 10. per church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's 10 and it's 150 base cost, so yeah. All right. Uh, Maz, can you give me 144, right? Yeah, 97 silver. Uh, that's fine. We'll just mix the gold together. So it's uh, about... 79, I mean. Sorry. That's all good. I'll leave the silver for now. Uh, lesser restoration was 100, right? Yep. Yeah. So, lesser restoration and two healers could charges are 130. Yeah. That's that's what I'll buy. I still have a full healers kit, but I want to refill the second one I have. And I'll get the salve as well. Excellent. This uh. pleases me. By any chance you have anything that would uh, staunch a wound, um, you know, out in the road we have dealt with some bandits who are very quick to leave some grievous wounds. Do you have anything that could staunch that in the pinch? Uh, she does, Above but you can't board, afford it. I'm asking if... She does, oh, but sorry. you can't afford it. Hmm. Mm. There's always ah. the not so legal way of acquiring. Dog. Dog. Mm. Bark. Well, I spoke, Sylvan. Oh, thank you, regardless. Well, seeing as how everybody's finished buying, she'll give you a bit of a wave. Have a good day! The very same to you. Uh, 
Huh. That's all my gold. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Survival checks. Oh. oh boy, it's time to be lost. But aren't we on the road? We also have a frog guiding us. Oh, you guys are on the road? Yeah. 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 Oh, for speed? Oh, okay, then they're fine then. <laughs> okay, this means I have to adjust for patrols. How many rations do you have? All right. Mm. Uh, Checking. We had quite a few. It's been six days so far. Uh, Remember, you we should at least have more because we're no longer feeding JJ and Bellrock. Hmm. Well, you'd have the same because you have two children. But they were there before as well. True. Well, yeah, but so was, JJ, was JJ feeding them, or did you buy food for them specifically? JJ he bought, bought food for he them. Bought, if I remember, he bought over a week more for that purpose. Yeah. Well, what's your actual count? Give me a number. Uh, do we have a number? Hold. I have the we... I have the number. Yeah. I've been keeping track of it on my phone. Give me one second. I don't know if we had that on the server, and if so, we didn't move it over. Uh, after all these rolls and all these days, we have a total of, uh, f 15 rations left. 15 days worth for the party? No. 15. Oh, 15. Okay. Uh, yeah. Looks at Mazakin. No, then we've I'll been don't... hunting and eating as we've been going. Yeah, yeah. then I'll start hunting now. All right, survival checks to hunt. Let's see some there again. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Not oh, good today. So <laughs> would I be able to hunt as well, or would that be you need the proficiency for it? Proficiency and survival. Well, it's a basic check, so I guess you could do it too. Good. Uh I'll use my uh uh expert not the expertise, the uh versatile master. Yeah, that's the bitch. Twenty. Perfect. All right, you find a cute, a few rabbits. I'll give you about two rations worth. They're not very uh, hardy, pretty thin actually. Not a very good hunting trip. All right, you guys move forward. Hunting checks. Mm. Whoops. You crawl across from berry bushes and get about seven days or uh, seven rations. Hmm. Ooh. All right, up ahead, a patrol is approaching. It appears to wear the banner of the church, specifically the sect of the Sword of Metheria. Since they're mm -hmm. wielding their banner, you're able to see them ahead of time, and you could attempt to do uh, something about it. You can try to avoid them. Uh, you can stealth. You can ambush them, whatever you'd like to do. Um, we're still in the skies, kind of, right? Yeah. Do you guys want to walk past them in your disguises? I think we might have a better chance to be stealth. Yeah, we have better chances. Oh, if we fuck that up, it's super suspicious, but no way, though. Yeah. 
Okay, true. Yeah, they we have we have the badge and everything. They they should they should technically be no problem. True. So we're stealthing or we're disguising? We're stealthing. I'm not gonna risk it. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can do stealth. All right. Anybody got skill, focus, and stealth? I do. All right. Roll it for the party yeah. then. Okay. Uh, using first level mastery here as well. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. To be fair, the mastery did help. So eleven <laughs> plus the number of party members, which is five, I think. So that's well, actually no. There'd be only three it's, others. A six with the children. Uh, children aren't helping with this. So that's three. Five. And Simon and Spire, do you got any exposure, buddy? Uh, yeah. You should I'm probably like expire. One. You should probably give that a little bit. So it's a 17 total. All right. Mm -hmm. Party will go to the side of the road. And... Let's roll to see if there is any interest in you. All right, 17 means that the patrol will stop at your trail that exits the road. Now you have a choice. You can reveal yourselves or you could try to run for it. Can we tell how many um, of them there are? Perception checks. This Batharian, this Batharian patrol is comprised of eight individuals. We're better we're off. Fit. We're we're better off just notifying them that we're here. There's been yes. so many weird things going on. Us pulling off the road is safety precaution. Now that we can see the banner, it makes sense to at least play the role. Time to lie. Yes, but. If you two were, you two were more magically obvious, so to speak. So, well, I'm gonna stay in the cart. Oh, Simon, sort of the Simon has the Simon has the badge. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Fane will stay in the back of the cart with his eyes covered, pretend to be sleeping. I'll join him there. All right. All right. Well, we reveal ourselves. All right. So you turn back around towards the road. And you can see that the lieutenant leading the patrol sees your cart come up around the corner and he'll kind of give a wave to uh, Simon and say, Hey, old friend, what took you off the road? Is everything all right? We're hunting. Also, hi. Finger guns. He'll, he'll nod. Ah, I see. Uh, rations can be a bit expensive. Can you spare some if you have? Unfortunately, we are barely giving any to make our own journey. Oh, uh, that's alright. Tell me, friend. Did you have any luck? We don't have much. Been a uh, rough days. Not a lot for hunting. I see. We found some berry bushes up ahead, but not much in the way of wildlife. Sadly. I'll look ahead at the berry bushes. Kind of stroke his chin. Where are you headed? Never just following the road and seeing maybe Hiyoko would be a good place to maybe set up shop. Hmm. Haikyo, you say? Yeah. Yes. There's good things stuffing from there. You, uh, you said you were setting up a shop. What is it that you're selling? Hmm, a special treatment. A special treatment? For what? Sweetie, I told you not to use that language. It makes, me, makes us sound like we're, you know, selling no. body parts. Oh, geez, he doesn't know his tongue. You know, I can do some moves, special moves. The man will raise an eyebrow. 
What do you mean by special moves? Massages. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I tried to be subtle, but... Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Y'all have an excellent day. And he'll get back on his horse, and he and the and the other uh, sexually repressed members of the Church of Etheria will uh, trot away from your weird carriage. <laughs> Very slight guide you. I can show you my special moves. That fuck, I'm dying. I fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> now we got our good disguise for next time, right? <laughs> Yeah, just be, we just weird them out. That, that's, there you go. That works. And, and until one of them is interested, and then... And then I have fan-worthy content. Oh, boy. Another one. Another one. Oh, boy. Oh. Um, another patrol approaches you. <laughs> No. But this one does not bear the marking of the church. And instead bears the mark of what appears to be one of the local lords. Make me a history check. Everyone or? Everyone. Except foreigners. Okay, hmm. thank God. Everyone? All right. You recognize that as the symbol and the heraldry of the Brass Baron. Oh, no. You can see that there is a mercenary force, about a hundred strong, that is making their way up the road. You'll have to actually get off the road to give them room to pass. Do you choose to do so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. The Brass Baron and a contingent of his men come thundering by. You can see that they are carrying behind them carriages laden with all sorts of supplies, weapons, and even uh, a few pieces of a siege engine of war. Something is happening in the Broken Oaks. <laughs> no. Hope my soul is doing well. Well, if the Baron's men are going north and not west, that means we have a little more time than we thought. So. Indeed. Wherever Let's they're go. going, all hell is gonna break loose. It's not our hell. Okay, by my count, you guys should be getting low on rations. You're mm -hmm. also at the southern crossroads. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to Haikyo, mm -hmm. you'll have to head to the southwest. Yes. Yep. And also should hunt. We... And we're hunting. Yeah. Survival Uh, personal mastery here. Oh. Oh my god. Why? Alright, you hunt a bear and bring it down. Granting you 32 rations. Well. That do be something. Should that, is that enough for the rest of the way? Or? That should be plenty for the rest of the way. Yeah. Perfect. 32 divided by 6. Yeah. 5. 5 days in a bit. 5 and... Yeah. Uh, Mace, by any chance can you do anything with the bear pelt? With the what? The bear's pelt, the uh, skin. Ah. Yeah. What, do you want a coat? Or? I mean, it's good for her. You may be able to trade it, if it's in good condition. And mm. <clears throat> Nothing I've done before, but I can certainly try. The first ration you eat, Mazikeen, is the bear's heart. Ah. The good parts. The bear. Ah. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Alright, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. 
Can I can I try to get the uh, the fur? Oh like the yeah. Skin? Survival check for the pelt. Uh, advanced or normal? This is advanced. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, Mazakin just ruins it. Rolls around in the <laughs> dirt with it. It's just she goes full dog with it. Starts chewing on it. Unfortunate. Should you hand it back to you and be like, hmm, sorry about that. I seem to be lost myself there for a little bit. That's <laughs> mm, not a use for us. <laughs> oh, sorry right. about that. I seem to have become a dog again. Do that sometimes. You know, we all, we all, you know, a. It reminded me a little bit of my childhood. All right, you can see from this distance that there is the great lake far to the south that in which Isola sits. You can also see that there is a heavy mist rolling in from its shore towards you. The mist may slow your journey. All right, but now, they're on the road, right? Well, yes, but you still have to make survival checks in the heavy mist. Oh, okay. You can lose the road. <laughs> Process. Be sure to guide them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Mazakin, as you start to lead the carriage the wrong direction, uh, Frosis will elongate his 20-foot tongue and tap you on the shoulder and point the other way. Oh. All right. Well, can you... Well, I don't know. He's a frog compass. Yeah, but can't he use his hands with us? They're not that long. Oh, he can move, can't he? Alright, you oh, guys I think actually... we need to hunt for more yep, rations. Yep. yep, you gotta hunt some more. The mist slowed you down. Yeah. Okay. Time for food. Hunt, 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 hunt. Yeah. Aww. Uh, did, did while... we Hold on. I'm... No. While hunting, you do not find any animals. You do, however, uncover an abandoned carriage with rations in its hold. Oh. You find... Loot. 83 rations. Jesus. <laughs> My god. Anything else? Right. But All rations right. or... They're preserved, yeah. Jesus, is there okay. anything else but, but the rations in the carriage? Um, as you search the carriage, you don't find anything else of value. The arrow marks on the side of the carriage and the blood stains within it tell you that it's already been looted. Most likely by mm -hmm. brigands. All right. Hmm. Onwards, then. Just read the words, the frumpus is moist. And I'm just dying. Okay, oh, that, that can't happen here, so. Okay, nothing there. Okay, nothing there. Civilization. Alright, you're starting to walk by um, rice fields and little huts and farms until finally you come upon a very ornate looking old wooden bridge and you start to cross over it and you see that the water roils underneath you and it comes down from the nearby falls now you're standing in the shadow of the great mountains of the west they reach up like stony fingers towards the sky and the water that runs between them is pristine, pristine and clear there is a constant light mist around the bridge and the village of Haikyo. And you have finally arrived. Oh, moist. Oh, boy. So beautiful. Um, how many days of rations do we have left? 
from uh, the last time we you helped. Sh it. You should have eight. Eight. You got it. Like eight. Somebody, days. somebody marked up. Eight days. Eight days. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah, that, marked up somewhere this time. Uh, eight. Eight. So we have eight coming in here because I assume we will buy more before we travel. That's why I asked. Oops. Probably. Can I go sit under the waterfall and meditate with Frosis on my head? <laughs> Might want to tear your hair, your hair back first, otherwise you'll just waterboard yourself. Good. But you finally made it. Thank you. Heck you. Thank you. Come on, heck you. Come on, heck you. Well, I uh, made it. I'm gonna rename this Billiam and William. Oh, um, while we were traveling, I would have tried to make the acid into like something I can use with the poisoner's kit. One moment. Okay, what are you trying to do? I'm sorry. Um, can I... is the acid usable or is it... I assume it's just acid in a bottle, right? Can I distill this into something that I can use? Do you have any alchemy training whatsoever? I have a poisoner's kit proficiency and a uh, poisoner's kit. Over time, yeah. You can come up with something. Nice. I'll try that then. While we were traveling. Hmm. Alrighty, go ahead and make me a roll real quick. Uh, D20 plus your proficiency plus your level. Plus... Nice. 19. Okay, give me just a second. You guys have been able to load the maps, right? Yeah. So yeah. far? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had no problems. It takes long for me, but... No problems after that. Okay, because I've been. I just don't want there to be like loading issues. Okay. Uh, with the 19, you think you've started to develop a kind of application for the acid, but you'll need a better base because the acid is too. Uh, it's too much of a catalyst. It just fizzles as soon as you try to put it on your blade, so. Mm. You're gonna have to do some more experimentation. No, we'll try that later then. Alrighty. Y'all ready to see the village? Oh, I'm so ready. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can load this. How big is it? It's, uh... It's... It's, it's pretty good. Are we upside down? Yep, we're upside down. <laughs> yes. Alright, and here you go. Oh. 
<laughs> Simon is still there in the combat tracker for me. If you click on the carousel on the left side, it uh, goes away. On the left side? Ah. Yeah. There. Thank you. All good. Ah. Reloading. Oh, Not there. I see with eyes. Oh, <laughs> this is really it's fucking country. cool. All right, welcome to the village, Paikio. It looks really nice. Frost is so big. <laughs> I will fix him. Alrighty, when you get to about this point, uh, 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 uh. oh yes, big stretch. Sorry, I just cracked my back real quick. <laughs> Sorry, when you get there, oh, oh, I die. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's having a back massage that are getting a bit too intense on the road. Mm. All right, when you enter the village of Kyo, you feel kind of a, a sense of calmness come over you. The village seems quaint, yet there is a kind of like a quiet power to it. In the background, you can hear the constant rush of the falling water that forms the cascade and ultimately the mist gate or at least the place that leads to it. Up ahead, you can see that the village sprawls out and that the people that walk through it seem to be happy, friendly, and are going about their lives with, with almost as if no care at all of what is happening elsewhere in the world. Slowly, the party walks up a set of stone steps. Each one rising them in elevation up towards the plateau on which the village sits. When you get to the top, you can see that there is a curious looking shrine. It is depicted in the symbology of flowing water, waterfalls, and other uh, nature muralling. However, there is one thing that catches your eye. A solid white bell hangs from the center of the shrine. Is it magical? You don't know. It doesn't look like it. Uh, I have constant detect magic from the elf mutation, so. Well, you if don't detect anything, that. Alright. Are you familiar with this? Anything you've seen before? I don't Maybe. think so. Would I so know of I any it? religious symbology with a white bell? Or me? Go ahead, uh, give me some religion checks. Okay. I'll use Versal Master here. Keeps moving the camera. <laughs> Alright, with a 20, you know that this bell is something of a tradition in the West. It's put at the front of villages, in the front of doorways. It's the polite way of announcing your presence. Instead of knocking on a door like they do in the East, in the West, you ring the bell. Uh. So we use this instead of knocking. Simon, want to do the honors? Oh, All husband, right. fine. Ding, ding, ding. All right, Simon, you reach out and you start to ring the bell. Ding, ding. Its sound echoes through Haikyo. Someone approaches 
kind of walking down the steps at a quickened pace, moving to greet you. The man is covered in robes, and he pulls them back to reveal someone you'll meet next time. Unbound and broken. Oh, Damn. oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Very good. Uh. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> God, Billy and William are so satisfying. <laughs> the build finally works. I can finally just summon things that will do consistent damage and I can heal. It works. It's almost like our characters have reached their full, almost their full potential with their ults yet, though everything kind of works. No. Man. And if I, yeah, I, I used agree. Half my brain to calculate bleed, then I also wouldn't have gone down there. That was a fun <laughs> session. Yeah. I, I concur. Man, you guys decided at the very beginning, we're going to go west, and now you're finally on the cusp of getting all the way to west. <laughs> we're almost west. And you've been traveling, I believe, a total of eight months. Yeah. <laughs> and then when we figured out everything in the west, we're going to go back. <laughs> nah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we find. And then war. Mm. It was a good Let's session. Let's get the and claim, claim asylum. <laughs> Good sesh, oh, good, sesh. good sesh, good sesh, good sesh, good sesh. Good sesh. Good sesh, good sesh, bro, good sesh. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for running, Arcadian. I and, have to go. But... Oh, see you later, see Colossus. You next time. See you later, Colossus, buddy. Thanks, thanks for playing. Oh, yeah. I, I have seen... I have seen God. The talkie alignment looks so empty now. Hmm. Uh, also, just so everybody knows, uh, chat room, uh, we'll have new characters to introduce and a new player to introduce. Uh, for those of you that have been asking on where Egg is, uh, Egg has sadly um, decided to leave the game. Unfortunate, but so these things happen. Uh, the next, uh, the, the player that we have to replace him is Jarzu, who will, hey. be, who will be properly introduced uh, in the next session. Well, not, not, not that I mean that Egg could be replaced or anything like that. I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way, but we needed another player, so. It's not tough to be felt off draw. The show must go on, as they say. You guys like fan art? Absolutely. I am so ready for your action for this. All right, let's oh, see. Some fan First art. up, we've got some Mazikeen fan art. Yeah. That's, of course, that. tradition. I'll make Mike make this into an emote. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! Seriously, it's gonna go. Yeah. it's just gonna go straight to her head. Yeah, it it's already dead. Already it's already in my <laughs> head. More Mazikeen <laughs> fan art, but like a dress. The anime dress version, yes. Oh, look at so... it. Look at the expression on the left. It's so good. Look at those. Look at those honkers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I am. I see where your gaze has brought you, yes? Concerned. <laughs> no, 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 don't show that. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. We have assembled. <laughs> oh, no. Frog time. Nope. Mm -hmm. You must walk the moist path. <laughs> oh, no. And shout out to Casey for this. This is so good. Okay, Kermit Frosis with the halo dripping. Powerful. <laughs> oh wait, I have JJ's well. kids, kids raised by the party, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's pretty good. Oh, Look at that. No, big, big uh, this, this wasn't JJ's kids. This was them throwing Mazakin and Fane through AI. Or, oh, I see. And then, then for the whatever mixture. ungodly reason, like big frog though, so support it. There's something wrong with this one's hands. Oh. It's the AI part, yeah. Yeah. You can kind of tell on the hands a lot of them. Uh, in this scene, Frosis is stuck to Mazikeen, and she can't do anything about it. Ah, oh, no. Yeah. That's exactly what I had in mind as well. He just shakes it, and he just oh, doesn't move Oh, do you all. feel moist? Oh, God. Terrifying. God, I love him. <laughs> this one. Tug, what are you? 
shifting gears. <laughs> that might be my favorite one. <laughs> no. My juicy ass, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There it is. What the Juicy fuck? Juicy ass. I'm so happy. <laughs> just, just turn around, just like. Look Ow. at the frogs beating up the other one in the yeah. background. Yeah. yeah. Look, go back, go back one. Uh, the, 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 the uppercuts. Look yeah. at the frogs. <laughs> yeah, they're up. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Classic. What could have happened, 100%? <laughs> if we didn't get a cure for petrification, this is what was happening. <laughs> so. Thank for us this I morning. ain't William! I ain't William! <laughs> <laughs> this is fade at level 5, you know? The oh, as well. Ah, yes. Yeah, Good look Lord, at it. Yeah, they got yeah. the fucking... the, the paddy cow. They got the paddy caps, so, dude. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. good. Hey, William! I ain't William! Uh, KC. Oh! Well, I like that Casey to actually do tokens for them and make two separate sheets. Oh my god. Oh my god, ah, yes. Yeah, get, get like two tokens or like yeah. to display at least once where one is just the tongue. And... You get them to just do <laughs> the, the JoJo body. poses where they're like, their hands are above their head. They're like, hi, 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 Yeah, yeah. Pillar Man. Yeah, but instead of the uh, <laughs> Pillar Man theme, it's just the Rocky Road to double and one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> I got you. Classic Mazakine <laughs> art. Look at that. Look at that face. Yeah, it looks so cool. Oh, the lumens are. Oh, I yeah. put mine in. Do you want yours ah. too? You have it? Oh, I got it. I'm sorry. Wait, I can uh, do it. No. What? It's my okay. art. What the fuck? What the hell? There you go. No, it's the mine. Lumens. I found him, and then Cyber was like, mine, and took the commission slot. I looked at it, immediately commissioned him, and then he just did the same. <laughs> I just and waited they both look really yeah. fucking good. They're very cool. I like his style a lot. Alrighty. Good stuff, guys. Thanks for playing, everyone. That'll be it for me. I'm going to shut it down, okay. and I'll see you guys in two hours for Forgotten City. And then, after that game's done, I'll see you an hour after that for the brand new game tonight, Sins of the Father. Oh, Sunday is stacked. What the hell? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Alright, I'll see you guys in two hours. Well, thanks for running. Bye.